what is a fishing annex on today's video we will be talking about jig skirts well uh mostly well this was in a little bit disappointing end um uh, I, I i was fishing last week pre-fishing for a tournament and i pulled out a jig that um i thought it's gonna work uh, great for me and uh, I used it last year. I bought the skirt last year and used it a couple of times. And I pulled it out. And uh, after one fish, it started falling apart. And as you see, the rubber band just uh, dried out. This was dried out and it just broke. But I, I had a total different view. Um, I want to make a total different video. I didn't even realize the skirt completely fall off until I just picked it up. But uh, let's start from the beginning. So on this today's video, um, we'll be talking about between the differences between uh, rubber band skirts, hand tie skirts, wire tie skirts which ones are better for you now i'm not bashing wire tied hand tied or uh, rubber um rubber band depending on the angler and the situation sometimes a rubber band it's more beneficial however if you don't lose that many jigs or you take care of your stuff i guess i don't know uh, this was in a dry box um but still uh, broke off. But before I even get to that, I made a video last weekend and my camera wasn't recording as it should. So the Sony, this one, my primary camera, uh, I dropped it a couple of times. So there is a little uh, uh, whatever, Thing that goes zooms out and in and out that's broken so um, earlier on the videos when I just got my NAR I zoomed in because the the angle and never I, and lost focus either way on that video I said uh, I asked a couple questions but I I didn't want to post it until I got a I wanted which camera to get so Let's do a little giveaway. Check down below in the comments what camera should I get? If I get the camera you guys you uh, brand you suggested, um, I'll, I'll I'll make you a nice pack of my own jigs uh, and trailers. I'll ship you jigs and trailers. Um, I, I was just making a couple of them for the river. Um, I finally decided uh, that uh, mixing uh, mixing uh, largemouth and smallmouth uh, jigs does not end very well, especially w when you're on the river, have limited time, uh, and the only jigs you have in your uh, jig box are five out hooks. So, uh, but it is a pretty good video. I strongly suggest, but uh, unfortunately. This video kind of lost this whole purpose, but either way, we're going to go through with it. Um, there is something that uh, everybody can learn. Uh, by no means, this was a cheap, uh, cheap skirt. Um, as you see, uh, it's, it's pretty high end quality, actually, with the uh, little flashies and stuff and the skirt material itself. I, I know it's high quality, uh, but... The only thing that failed on this one was the rubber band. And for the most part, that's why I start tying my own jigs. All big brands, for the most part, 90% or, or up come with, uh, uh, come with rubber. And a lot of people uh, that uh, sell custom jigs swear by it. I personally hate it. Just like Z-Man. Z-Man is nearly indestructible. You can catch 100, 400 fish with just one lure. 
But you, it is, I don't want to say unreliable, but if you're not careful, and this is the bait you are relying on, and you have a box full of them, and you open up your box and everything is melted. Rubber bands are just like it. You can swap your skirts fast. I'm not saying these skirts don't fall apart. These skirts will fall apart too. After you're catching a couple hundred fish or dragging it through rocks, oysters, um, zebra mussels, they will fall apart eventually. But they will not fall apart sitting in your tackle box. You can get them wet. You can do whatever. They will not fall apart. Same thing with uh, wire tie. They will not fall apart. All jigs have their place. Uh, wire tying and all that. Uh, fishing on heavier cover. But these jigs, you cannot pull them. You can pull as hard as you want on it. This will not break. Rubber band will come apart. Um, you cannot customize a jig as it should be with the, with the rubber band. When you're hand tying them, you can have these, the co certain colors just stay in one place. I currently do not have uh, uh, my uh, sexy shad jigs around, laying around, but uh, I'm extremely disappointed and this started, this one came in as an argument in social media, uh, what I call them pawn, uh, pawn hopper gang, uh, they know everything, um, just because they spend uh, half of their life fishing a single uh, golf course pond and catching a potentially five pounder, everything they catch is a five pounder, but uh, if you're in a place where you look, your skirts will get damaged and you need to replace them often, but you don't lose jigs. Uh, fishing certain type of grass, like I said, uh, zebra mussels, they will tear up a skirt. So it's beneficial that you can be able to change your skirt at ease. Um, hand tied, you still can change it after it falls apart. Uh, you're gonna have to put a rubber skirt on, and nobody has the time to tie a jig uh, on the boat or on a kayak. But uh, mainly, I like hand tied or wire tied jigs just for that reason. Uh, just wanted to give my two cents on it, and I really wanted to try out the new camera. With this one, I can record uh, 6K, 4K, or 5.3K, and a bunch of other uh, stuff. It just, I believe it's going to be an amazing camera. I never want to switch away from Sony, but unfortunately, you cannot get any more Sony online or anywhere. If they are extremely expensive, uh, even used, Sony's were just workhorse. And it was a great camera with low light and stuff. But I want to try out this brand. And I, and so far, I like it. I just want to see how the image quality is going to be. So uh, I'll have a video coming up uh, right after this. I'll post it the next day with crappy picture. The picture is not that good. But I am taking this bad boy out on the weekend. And we're shooting a lot of videos a lot of content, a lot of educational. I want to shoot out the two educational videos that a lot of people have been asking me ab about uh, some certain techniques and uh, retrieves and stuff. So, uh, guys are blowing up my phone. I gotta get back to get back to the weekend plans. 